Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dinesh Kumar, Consultant Urologist, Andrologist and Kidney Transplant Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Mysore. Today I will be talking about enlargement of prostate in men. This prostate gland is present in men below the bladder neck or bladder outlet. It is a walnut shaped gland which enlarges usually after 50 years. When there is enlargement of this gland, you people will develop poor flow of urine. There may be sense of incomplete voiding. You may have to get up more at night time. Frequently you have to pass urine. There may be pain while passing urine and sometimes you may start passing blood in the urine. And if these symptoms gets more worse and more, more worse, then you may develop complete retention of urine and you may have to come to emergency to relieve the obstruction. So whenever you have these symptoms of poor flow of urine, unable to pass urine properly or you are struggling to pass urine or you are straining to pass urine, better you visit an urologist who will give you the solution for this problem. So urologist will examine you when there is a symptoms of all these enlargement of prostate and he will also do some couple of tests. This test could be either an ultrasound of abdomen to check how big is the prostate enlargement and also you will do a urine test to rule out is there any infection and also you will do a blood test, a serum PSA test. It is a prostate specific antigen test, a simple blood test which also helps in identifying whether you have a cancer in the prostate. Once all these tests have been done, then you will have an assessment whether the symptoms are mild or severe. If the symptoms are severe, then you will give the medications initially and see how you are doing. If your improvement is there with medication, then you can continue the medication. Some people, they may not respond to medicines or they may have a worse symptoms or worse problems where they have already have a urinary retention or they are having a stones in the bladder due to the retention of urine or they have started passing blood in urine or they had a complete retention of urine who are on catheter so patients require surgery. Now coming to the surgery there are two types of surgery one is known as TURP transurethral resection of prostate which is a conventional method done by using current and another is latest advanced treatment HOLEP. HOLEP is Holmium Laser Enucleation of Prostate which means by using a Holmium Laser prostate will be removed without much problems and this is compared to, to TURP it is very minimally invasive surgery the recovery is fast. 